Brian, I'm just curious as to how you came through tonight with your neck. Any issues there? Hey, Meredith, no, nah, no issues, no nothing. Um, still not 100%, but good enough to play, so I was out there just to get some at-bats and uh, just see how it felt, so we're, we're all good. Aaron Boone had said you thought you did it maybe while you were sleeping. Can you just kind of take us through how you injured it and what the progress has been? Yeah, sometimes you just wake up on the wrong side of the bed, you know. Uh, that's that's all I really got for that. Um, but now that they've been trainer, trainers been helping me out, just 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 a stiff neck, you know. Couldn't really. No, my biggest thing is I couldn't see the pitcher. You know, I couldn't really turn my neck all the way to see the pitcher, and that's uh, not where you want to be. So now I can see the pitcher, and it's time to roll. Saw the pitcher today. Feel good to get a hold of one. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Just, just trying to have some quality at bats. You know, I was thinking I was more happy with the walk I had against Pax after that, you know, especially getting down 3 2. Um, and that's where it gets tough with a guy like that who can, you know, he can hit every corner of the plate, every part of the strike zone. And he, every single pitch is a wipeout pitch. So for me to, you know, get a walk there, I was, that's probably my favorite at bat of the night. Okay. We could take the next question from Marley Rivera. Marley, go ahead. Hey, Aaron, thanks for your time. Aaron, does it start getting a little bit frustrating when a young and talented man like yourself has to go through all these little, you know, things that happen first with the with the rib injury, now with the neck stuff? How, how do you move on from that and, and show that you can stay a healthy player on the field? Yeah, uh, that's that's kind of what spring training is about is, you know, these, these games really don't matter right now. It's about getting ready for, you know, opening day. So, you know, if I didn't play a single spring training game, but I'm ready to play for opening day, I'm going to be excited about that. So, uh, yeah, I'm not really too worried about it. You know, you break a wrist, you know, you break a, you know, break a bone in your ribs, you know, from diving, trying to make a play for your pitcher, um, get hit in the wrist by a pitcher, you know, it's just freak things, you know, but I'm going to keep playing this game hard and that's all I know. And just a quick follow up, Aaron, how do you balance, right? Being excited, you and G for the home run, but at the same time, we know that Paxton is working on certain things, so it certainly isn't a, a happy moment for him. We're competing, you know. Every single time we go out there, we're competing. So um, that time, you know, Pax is pitching for the Bombers, so he's, <laughs> we're competing against him, you know. And he's going the same way, man. He, when he gets up on that mound, man, he stares right through you, and he was, you know, getting ready, ready to go. So that's how we got to treat every single game as a competition. Thank you. Ron Blum, you're up next. You can go ahead and unmute. Hey, Aaron. Uh, for the neck, what's the treatment? Just hot and cold? Did they give you any scans or tests? And do you think it's something that could linger? Uh, no, like I said, sometimes you just wake up on the wrong side of the bed. Uh, I'm not really too concerned about a stiff neck. Uh, but the treatment is uh, just try to mobilize it. You know, it's a big, my biggest thing was trying to get range of motion back into it when you only can kind of turn maybe... 35, you know, degrees. Uh, so just trying to mobilize it, loosen up the muscles a little bit and just kind of go from there. The biggest thing is just taking a couple of days. You know, that's the biggest thing. You know, during the season, you know, if it was a season time, you know, we'd do whatever we can to get me in the lineup and I'd be playing. But like I said earlier, these games really don't matter. It's about just getting ready for the season. So I did what was right to get ready for the season. And from where was 35 degrees the other day, where is it now? <laughs> Uh, that's tough to say. I can say I can see the pitcher, so I guess that's probably about 90. We're, we're there. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. Sweeney Murdy, you can go ahead and unmute and ask the next question. Hey, Aaron, for about the first 10 days of this camp, we've all kind of remarked how far ahead the pitchers are ahead of the hitters. Uh, it seems just from the contact, not just you, but some of the other guys are making, that uh, it's, got, it's gotten a little more in your favor. Have you and the other hitters been talking about that? Have you felt that? Have you kind of seen it swing your way a little bit with more reps? Yeah, definitely. We just kind of treat it like spring training. You know, that's where it's nice being in Tampa where you have a lot of extra fields and a lot more room, more cages to kind of go down, you know, after the game. Let's, you know, let's sit out the pitching machine. Or, hey, let's work on some sliders today. Let's work on, you know, hitting with some guys on base. Kind of treat it like a game situation so you can get more reps. And I think the other day, uh, me and a couple guys got on the field and kind of worked on a couple things, and that, that's what kind of helps you out. You know, that's what you, we've kind of been missing. You know, with all this time off, is not having that ability to just kind of work on some things. You know, like that. So being up in here in New York, we're kind of limited on our space and what we can do. So uh, it's just about finding the time you can to you know get your reps in and get back up to game speed. So were you talking about the night that you guys faced the machine after the intra squad game? Is that correct? Correct. Thank you, Aaron. You're welcome.
We can take the next question from Christy Ackert. Christy, go ahead. Hey, Aaron, uh, just curious what you saw on that pitch that you hit out from Paxton and then just basically being eight days away from opening day, do you feel like you're ready? Hey, Christy, uh, you know, with Pax, and I know he's got a good fastball. He likes to elevate. And, um, you know, I was just trying to beat him to a spot. You know, the minute I know a lot of lefties try to come in a lot, that's kind of the game plan. So I was just trying to get ready for a pitch, you know, up out of the plate. And, and I was just able to beat him to that spot inside. I think Gary was trying to set up really in. And, um, you know, I was just able to get to it. And, yeah, eight days away, you know, we're going to try to – we're going to squeeze as much as we can out of these next eight days and try to get the reps in we can. I think you guys kind of see during like BP, we got, you know, guys out of second base, you know, working on, you know, getting some reads and, you know, just kind of getting the little things that we usually do during spring training just to get right. So uh, you know, I think we're ready. I'm ready. Um, but like I said, I'm going to try to squeeze in as much as I can out of these eight days. Thank you. Welcome. Eric Boland, go ahead and unmute. You have the next question. Aaron, I know you got uh, Paxton the first time. Just curious, him coming off of uh, surgery in February, how did he look to you overall? He looks good. Uh, Pax is, is always looking sharp. You know, I've been you know, trying to watch and kind of watch some video of his last couple you know, live BPs and games. And, man, uh, that fastball's coming out good. You know, that's, his, that's his bread and butter is that fastball-cutter combination, and then he throws in a good uh, curveball slider action but you know everything had good depth had good bite to it you know that curveball's you know devastating you know just a couple of the ones he threw to me were just low enough that you know out of the hand their balls but uh now he, he's looking good he's looking sharp you know so i'm excited to see him you know get going during the season now thank you Aaron. you're welcome 